Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Prussian playthrough in EU4 with me, your host, Lucky Marine. And there are a few things. I had a, I had a quick look around the map a little bit earlier on between these episodes. And there are a few things that disturb me. One, Russia's fighting Ming. Russia's defending against Ming in the Ming War for Russian tribute. Which is not good for us, because at some point we will want to probably extend out into Ming, into uh, Russia. I don't want to be fighting Russia and Ming. So he could do with winning that. Another thing that slightly worries me. I looked at this. <clears throat> I looked at this and I thought, Bohemia, good. You're quite old. There's a chance that we may end up on your throne. You may end up in a PU underneath us. However, there's a succession war between us and Austria. I reckon we could win that, and that'd be all right. France would end up with a, uh, a succession war between Aragon and Russia. Uh, a little bit more weird, I suppose. What else? What else did what did I note that disturbed me? How big Tabaristan is, that disturbed me quite a bit. But no, anyway. Disturbing musings aside, let's carry on. Alright, so we are covering the stuff that counts. All these, you know, we'll, we'll spend money on them if we need to, a little bit later on. If we've got it to spare. Yep. We are doing conversions. We've got a conversion, we've got a level 3, well, we've got a missionary in. Because this has just been taken from Denmark. Not just been taken, but relatively recent. And there's quite a bit of unrest. So let's carry on. <coughs> the land of as long as it does us as a rival. Oh, you can tell I've just uh, reloaded the game. Oh, we're back down to three enemies. How oh, nice. Clergy demand land. What kind of land do you want? What flavour land would you want? No, not this. I don't really want to give you good land. I'll give you stuff that's at 36% or something. That'll do. For the time being. And... <clears throat> Sweden. You need to be embargoed? I always forget to do the embargoes. I always forget. It always slips my mind. And Aragon, when you come back. Actually, you don't need to be at France anymore. Seems as though we have that alliance. Aragon, embargo again. Let's try and keep our 100 power projection up at 100 for, uh, for a long time. For as long as we can. Easy. Lebec. Lebec, we need to build a spy network on. Did we have a claim or did we not? I think it all dropped off, hadn't it? I, th I believe so. And our truce is about to expire. And Austria won't come in and help them because Austria is also defending against Ming. Hmm. First Union on Monarch Death. Oh no. We need to get to war. Although, if we get to war, actually no. I will allow you access. Well, that'll allow Austrian troops. It might allow Austrian troops through. Depends if you can get access through Sweden or Livonia as well. Losing claims on provinces. That's alright. Lithuania, how are you getting on with your independence war? Not so good. Not so good. Oh, 
Hold you, 34. Yeah, we really need the... Uh, we really need babies pumped out. Okay, bye bye Scotland. Scotland, are you just going toe to toe with England? Or is someone else coming down that? Nope. Don't think so. Oh no, they brought France in on it. Fair enough. And the French have landed and the English aren't engaging this 1.9 stack. England, are you broken? Do I have to reload? What is this? Why are you allowing them? England, are you broken? I mean, come on, it's paradox. Let's let's not let's not assume that they're not broken. Hmm. I don't know. Live on you. Grab you, and then bring you back, and that brings us into a direct war with Poland, I believe. Poland and nobody else. Nope. When they peace out, they probably will. Let's get. Who would we be fighting here? Like it'd be Bremen, Hamburg, and Riga. Let's at least get a claim on Hamburg. Oh, strange noises. A lesson in friendship. <coughs> okay. 544, that's actually really good. With that dress of uh, 455. Nice. Oh, good. Allied with Netherlands. Oh. Means that we end up in a war. Independence. It means we end up in a war with Austria. I mean, we've got space, we have space for them. However, it'll pop out. Galway, Utrecht, Holland, uh, Brabant, probably, will all join. It'll end up being quite, quite big. Maybe even Oldenburg. What have you done with Galway? What have you done with Friesland? Have you, between you, have you eaten Friesland? Bastards. Yeah. <clears throat> and delete the stuff around them. All the stuff around them will get the option to join them. And probably will. And that's the time when you want to fight the Netherlands. So that when you fight them, you can make them revoke their cause. And as they're going to be right next to us, I don't think it's going to be of strategic interest to ally them. We've already got France on the other side of them. We can move in and eat them at leisure. Hopefully. No. Where did you fire? They usually pop here. They do pop here. It... Netherlands. Oh, there we go. Yeah. You want, you, to, uh, you want me to have an ally, an alliance with an OPM to fight Austria? No. No. Carry on with the conversions. That's our claim on hosting. No, it's not. We need 25, which means we've already have a, we already do have a claim. On this Martian, of course we do. Right, let's get on the Holstein Solomon. Evangelical Union. Ooh. 
that's what we've been waiting for. Have you got counter espionage on? You do, you little bastard. Alright. Evangelical Union. Let's be the leader of it. Alright. How many uh, Protestantish people have we got? Now there's a chance that the Ottomans will join on our side. The Russians might even join on our side because I actually know they won't. They might join on the Catholic side because they're allied with Austria. France, even though they're Catholic, they may well join the Protestant side. It, it's all a bit weird. Sorry, I'll uh, just open my door. My cat's outside yammering away. keep going on about it but I do need an, an internal cat flap for this house for my room otherwise he just, he just stand, sat, sits or stands on the landing and shouts the house down don't you hey silly cat anyway on we go for how you mean join the Protestant League good oh good because we for we forced the religion. Anyway, let's uh let's go line up on Lebeck and Hamburg respectively. And I've got an achievement after my last episode of uh a fine goose step, which is create Prussia and have more than 125% discipline. <clears throat> now surprised with over 1600 hours played that I'd not achieved that before so I must have been busy doing other things to be fair the 125% discipline on Prussia is well it just, it just seems easy mode will you I've let you in now will you shut up shut up I'm doing my stuff don't have any more tuna to give you I had a tuna mayo sandwich a little bit earlier on. And, uh, yeah. Whoa, Poland, taking bits of Hungary. Is Lithuania back under you? They are. Well, at least we, we got in there and had a little bit of a nibble whilst their back was turned. Ming. Oh, Ming. So, who, who actually are you fighting? Just Ming. So how have they managed? How have they managed? The crap is this just Mingish troops going around you? You, well, they've taken your capital. This does not bode well for us. If Russia becomes a tributary, then if we declare on Russia, we declare on Ming. Bad times. Although we could end up. Prussia being the, uh, I don't know, can we end up on the uh, the empire of the, with the mandate of heaven stuff? I, I don't, I don't know if we can, if we can't, we'll find out. Anywho, Livonian order will come in as well. Hmm. Bremen, Riga, alright, so you're around here, you're straight into there, you should be able to get past this fort. You might be able to, you might not. We'll switch our forts on now. We'll clear out this area and then we'll we'll send a contingency party back to uh, to sort out Riga and Livonian order. There we go. Declare for Holstein. I don't think I need to bring Bohemia in. I'll save the favors. Now, 
We can get to him, however. Fully maintain fort. Yeah, there's no point in stopping off and hosting problem. Give it one day and these two should turn red. There we go. Let's put Yeah, eleven on eleven. Let's not risk that. How you've managed to hold out, how how you're managing to win this, is utterly beyond me. But that's the thing. That's the thing that happened. Okay. Sweden has insulted us. Well, they can insult us all they want. Well, drop off troops as and when they're needed. All the calls coming in. No, just, let, let's go and take them out. Okay, okay, and then, there we go, job done I think, start out you part of, yeah, what, I need 12 here, balls, Roger with Bohemia, go on then, must mean that they've dropped off that list, no they haven't, but they're not old anymore. How many do we need for here? Nine, three. Right, just grab one more. It might take a, a while to get over here. <coughs> this is Austria going through our lands to help out Russia, I think. We lost. What did we lose? Trade ships, not what we lost. I wish you'd get. No. Fix yourselves up for a little bit. Okay, okay. Just go home. Go home at war. And don't go back out. Not until we've sent the proper ships out. Alright, 50%. That should be enough. For what is that? whatever's out there. Agent. Utrecht has joined the Republic, so the Netherlands grows. Holland will probably join, Galway will probably join, Friesland already has joined. He just ends up eating up everybody just out of force of diplomacy. It's impressive to see actually. Alright, 100% blockade on these places now. Check you in on that. Won the siege of Holstein. Good. And Diplo ideas. Or Diplo tech. We're taking an admin idea, aren't we? Yep, we'll take this now. Take cost of minus 5%. Just throughout, across the board. All tech. To make this cheaper. And this cheaper. National unrest. Yeah, right. It's an offer or prestige. We'll go for the prestige. Try to push that up a little bit more. Off you go. Let's, uh, let's bring that religious unity up. And let's have a few ticks of repair for these ships. Just for a while. I don't want to force out ships here. Ah, uh, we lost him. Ah, uh, Jabiru. We've gone to two forts. I don't want ships to be forced out into us and us lose because of it. Gallery has joined the Republic. Yep. Liège probably will. Holland almost certainly will. Alright. That's enough for what we need of here. What pressure? Uh, 
Okay, the rest of you. Just make your way over. Might as well put somewhere in charge. So, Hamburg, could we piece you out separately? And how much? I want Hamburg. I really do want Hamburg. <coughs> I don't really care about walking between my land, I just. I would like Hamburg. But that's going to be too much. The amount of aggressive expansion that you get. From taking out a free city is immense. Anyway. We know they're going to be rich. They're Catholic. Let's flip them. False religion. Let's take all the money. Grab all warps. And leave them at that. I mean, at least we're we're creating more Protestant countries for this side of the list. I wonder if you join this side, and then you get turned Protestant if you can join the other. Oh no, I don't know. All right, Karen. The Prussians, are, the Prussians are coming. They're obviously going to run away. Going to shit their pants. Bremen, similar with you. Support your religion. No, nope, you're already uh, Protestant. Good. Grab your money. War ups. Transfer trade power. And I think that'll do. And give up claims on me. Rejected our offer. Really? It did say that it would accept it. Fairly certain it said it would accept it. Anyway. Where are you going? Stop here. I reckon he's gonna stop here. You're already locked. It's coming out here, we'll wipe you, and then we'll turn around and we'll wipe your little dog too. Done. Alright, Bremen. Let's try that again, shall we? Yeah. So do as I accept. Weird. Something must have changed between uh, the sending. Maybe a fight kicked off somewhere. It was probably the uh, the ship fight here. They had the ongoing battles. Yep, Holland's joined. They had the ongoing battle thing go on. If I just wanted this. Austria will be on the verge of it. Alright, just this. Let me walk between my lands. Force of religion. All your money. War reps. No treaties? No, because I need to drag you around. I need to drag him into fights by fighting somebody else. Give up claims on. Alright, don't they? I'll do. Alright, Sandbergs, Protestant, you are already Protestant. You are now Protestant. Oldenburg. Can I flip you? Not really.
Alright. Everyone, uh, let me open building. We'll get rid of you because we've already got one in Lubeck. Bring all the force down. And that's our fight with Lubeck. Over. We can now walk in between lands. Which is splendid. If we declare war on you, it still just brings in Poland. If we declare war directly on Poland, it brings in. Not Austria, but it does bring in Sweden. We do want to be at war with Sweden because directly declaring our Sweden brings in France, I believe. No, it doesn't. I could have sworn that France was allied with Sweden. Nope, just a royal marriage. I reckon they were allied with uh, France at some point. I reckon this is them breaking that alliance. Russia, are you okay? It's like, no, I'm not okay. Have you not seen this Ming dude? Well, yeah, we've played as Ming. They are quite strong, aren't they? Bastard, you're involved in that fight. Are you actually sending people there? How are you getting on, Austria? In terms of manpower. Oh, there's mercenaries. There's mercenaries. Oh, we're up to 30,000. We'll have to spend them in some way, shape or form. Anyway, that is us for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I have been Lucky Marine, as always. You lot have been amazing. Join me and Dylan next time for... Well, really, we do need some of this aggressive expansion to now start taking down. It's quite bad. Quite bad. So we might do some building. I do some building work, get some claims. Um, I already know roughly how and where I want to expand. Declare on either Poland or Sweden. Uh, Attacker in Hungary. Well, that's going to keep you busy. I was going to say. I want to attack Poland before Bohemia can call us in again into an, uh, an offensive war against Poland. So it might be worth declaring a war over something tiny, taking something very little, but forcing that truce so that Poland doesn't grow. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Anyway, until then, do take care.